Broad City's Ilana Wexler was an iconic hot mess, but no matter how crazy life got, she was always ready to find a way to make things work for her. And with the help of her best friend, Abby Abrams, there was no obstacle she couldn't overcome. To my fron, to the on. Broad City made a huge splash when it premiered in 2014. Shows centered on anxious 20-somethings living in the Big Apple aren't exactly groundbreaking. But Abby and Alana brought something new, relatable female characters who embraced their many flaws and had fun doing it. The duo itself is iconic, and Abby's struggles with work and life are incredibly relatable. But Alana's more free-spirited nature made her stand out as the unbothered badass we all want to be in our 20s. Ab, ab, ab. No joke, today is the day we become Abby and Alana, the boss bitches we are in our minds. Are you with me? Let's take a look at the impact of Alana Wexler, how she was relatable and aspirational, and what makes her hedonistic character so enduring a decade later. Yes, queen. <laughs> if there's one thing Alana loves, it's taking some time to really chill. If you want to add some more chill moments to your life, you need to try today's sponsor, Cycling Frog. They offer an assortment of hemp-derived cannabinoid products, from seltzer to gummies to cookie and brownie making kits. We've been loving the wild cherry seltzer and huckleberry gummies in particular, and they have so many other awesome flavors to choose from, too. When life and work gets hectic, it can be hard to find ways to really relax, and Cycling Frog's products really help us unwind. The seltzers come in a variety of THC levels—2 mg, 5 mg, and 50 mg depending on what kind of vibe you're going for. So if you want to add some more chill moments to your day and support the take, check out Cycling Frog today. Plus, they've provided a special code just for our audience so that you can get a whole 20% off your entire order. So definitely head over to cyclingfrog.com, grab your goodies, and make sure to use the code THETAKE20 at checkout to get your discount. That's code THETAKE20. Ilana's best friendship with Abby is the heart of the show. Stars Abby Jacobson and Ilana Glazer met while doing improv at the Upright Citizens Brigade and developed the idea for Broad City as a semi-autobiographical web series about their friendship. The co-creators and co-stars played heightened versions of themselves, Abby Abrams and Alana Wexler, getting into zany New York City misadventures. SNL alum Amy Poehler became their comedy mentor and executive produced Broad City as a TV show for Comedy Central. In 2014, the rest of the world met the two lovable stoners and their chaotic, yet mostly mundane, lives. Here we go. This is it. Yes. <sighs> While it's often compared to other shows, Broad City made space for itself as a stoner girl comedy of errors, a subgenre largely non existent at the time. It was called The Female Workaholics, the modern day sex in the city, and often referred to as the anti girls. There were a few melancholic moments towards the end of the series, but overall they kept the tone light and upbeat. But in Declare, we all fam. What? In Declare, we all fam. I don't. In the club, we are all family. Are you racist? No. Both have a lot in common and a lot to say about the world, but Abby is the straight man to Alana's wild card. This is the Abby I, I love and fell in love with and I'm obsessed with. While Abby's plagued by anxiety and doubt, Alana's don't give a f attitude propels them both forward into messy and hilarious hijinks. They have a refreshingly relatable and enviable female friendship where they support each other equally despite any differences they may have. Their dynamic is similar to the chaos order of 30 Rock's Jenna Maroney and Liz Lemon, only Abby and Alana are more alike in their slacker ways. Ilana knows how to get Abby out of her comfort zone. Though they often get into sketchy situations, they always end up happily together. Even through all of the chaos of their lives, they have a tight bond that's, sure, a little codependent, but also pretty enviable. Bye, Abby! I'll see you when you wake up! And if you don't wake up, I'll still see you- Cause I'm gonna kill myself and meet you in heaven or whatever! There's an oddly wholesome optimism at the core of Broad City. They fail regularly, but never lose hope and continue to encourage each other. So what? You're a nasty bitch. Who cares? All right, let's go get high. When Alana has moments of feeling lost, she leans on Abby and vice versa. And even though they do start feeling the pull of real adulthood looming as the show goes on and begin making plans to start reaching their goals, or even have goals to begin with, Alana never loses her free spirit. And next year, I want to finish a book, reading, not writing, mm -hmm. 
I want to gradually lower my dosage of antidepressants. Even relatively small things like Abby deciding to buy her own pot and Alana deciding to do her own taxes without the help of her parents for the first time feel low-key monumental in the way that taking your first real steps into adulthood often does. Neither of them have everything figured out, but they're okay with it because they know that they can overcome anything together. The appeal of both Abby and Alana is their authenticity. Okay, you're weird and I literally love you. This is a party, girl. They're young, broke post-grads working dead-end jobs and living with roommates who aren't each other in an expensive city. But Alana is arguably more aimless than Abby, who manages to at least keep a steady, if incredibly unrewarding, job at Solstice in the early seasons. Alana, meanwhile, barely hangs on to her gig at Deals, 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 a boring desk job which she's always late for, sleeping through, and sometimes doesn't come in for at all. However, she also takes on odd jobs to get by, dog walking, busking, selling art, or stolen office supplies, and answering creepy Craigslist ads for cleaning. She hates the grind but still hustles to make it. She's truly an enterprising slacker, always looking for a way to make money without giving up the freedom she enjoys or having to take a gig that will totally zap her spirit. Ilana is so self-assured that she doesn't ever really even consider the fact that people might not like her and lives life accordingly with unwavering confidence. Donna, Rihanna, Ilana! She embraces the messiness of life. She's all about body positivity and definitely isn't shy about bodily functions or the grotesque nature of the human body. Being honest about gross aspects of life was often seen as something women weren't supposed to talk about on screen or in real life. But Ilana was part of a new wave of comedy heroines who were upfront about all of the ups and downs of life, including the really gross parts. Of course, movies like Bridesmaids exist, but there's still shame around the reality of women's bodies, especially when it comes to menstruating. Shh, dude, you have a period stain. No, dude, it's an old stain. It's a red herring, because it's red and looks like a fish, kind of. I'm packing. I'm packing heat. It's this unabashedness that makes her confident energy so infectious. One of Ilana's most defining and celebrated character traits is her unapologetic desire for pleasure. Marijuana is a staple in her life, of course, but she's most known for being sexually liberated. And, you know, the vajnya is nature's pocket. It's, it's natural and it's responsible. She's a young, vibrant woman who isn't afraid to let her attraction to men and women be loudly known. Ilana's obsession with Abby not so subtly borders on the romantic, but other than her best friend, Ilana maintains a somewhat steady sexual relationship with Lincoln, a responsible pediatric dentist who seemingly prefers monogamy, but agrees to a polyamorous situationship with Ilana for most of the series. We are a modern day Will and Jada. We are open sex friends. We are poly. We are bi. She relies on her best friend as her primary emotional relationship, and although she has Lincoln, her roommate Jaime, and her mom, Abby will always be number one. Ilana also has a brief but intense fling with Adele, played by Aliyah Shawkat. It's not surprising that Ilana finds a woman who looks exactly like her attractive. I was drawn to your aura and your scent, you know, and your curls and your cheeks. Of course I'm drawn to myself. I masturbate in the mirror. Funnily enough, she doesn't even realize it until Abby brings attention to it. Surprisingly, the realization actually turns her off. While she definitely loves herself, she also loves variety. She's already got enough Ilana in her life. She wants to explore everything else the world has to offer. I have sex with people different from me, you know? Different colors, different shapes, different sizes people who are hotter, uglier. And in the end, it's Adele's disinterest in smoking that's the final nail in the coffin for the relationship. Ilana is always up for supporting a good cause, but the show also sometimes lays bare how her activism can at times be misguided or even straight performative. While she's generally well-intentioned and quick to call others out, she rarely, if ever, checks her own privilege and even dips into cultural appropriation on occasion. Dude. Shaming other white people for their racism is like my thing. The show uses these moments of obtuseness on Alana's part to call out the hypocrisy of this kind of thinking in a comedic way. Importantly, she is always able to own up to her mistakes. While she generally goes with the flow of her own vibe, she's able to learn from her missteps and grow to become a better, more aware person. No matter how self-interested she might occasionally be, Ilana Wexler was and still is undeniably lovable. She's the friend we all want. Fun, loyal, adventurous, the perfect balance of lively and chill. And always ready with a compliment, no matter how inappropriate. Your ass looks incredible. Okay. And your head and body too. Thanks. 
but we all know who's the star of the show here. She's not just a lazy stoner or an unhinged hard partier. She's both. A carefree woman child who lets her id lead the way. But unlike so many other coming-of-age shows centered on reckless millennials, Broad City doesn't punish her for it. Heads up! Most of us wish we could feel as confident and free as Alana, even though in reality, we're usually more anxious and unsure, like Abby. Ilana always had an offbeat fashion sense, usually dressing for comfort, but regularly donning attention-getting attire and accessories. Her wardrobe is a distillation of the late 2000s and early 2010s era, a mix of trendy American apparel-esque pieces and thrift store finds, high-waisted short shorts, Doc Martens, and midriff-bearing tops aplenty. Her night-on-the-town looks are even bolder and revealing, and for anyone with unruly curls, seeing her rock her natural hair was inspiring, especially Jewish people who grew up feeling the same frustration. Listen, I think you look like you got like a Rosie Perez vibe going if you poofed it up. What? Okay. Yeah. Now I'm doing it like this every freaking day for the rest of my <laughs> life, dude. But she also likes to experiment with colorful wigs, bold makeup, and ridiculously long nails. And some looks, like her signature gold hoops, veer into culturally appropriative territory, which Jaime does eventually call her out on. There's something you do that I see a lot of white people do, and it's kind of like cultural appropriation. I've heard about this. Like, for example, you know those earrings that you have that say Latina? Ilana connected with fans because so many were, and often still are, feeling the crush of post-grad pressure to become real adults in a world where that seems kind of impossible and low-key miserable. She showed that you could still keep your youthful, carefree side, enjoy the many pleasures of life, get a little crazy, and still build a happy life for yourself surrounded by people who care about you. Growing up doesn't have to mean giving up, and Alana stayed true to herself until the end. We love seeing real people on our screens, and Alana was one of the realest. Broad City fans were devastated when it came to an end in 2019, but after five seasons and 50 episodes, Abby Jacobson and Alana Glazer had other creative ventures they wanted to explore. Still, their heightened characters live on through them. Alana Wexler obviously wakes and bakes. Alana Glazer, on the other hand, wakes up, takes her vitamins, and then I get high. In a time where we're still talking about messy, complex female characters and the concerns around female characters being unlikable, Ilana's bold spirit is greatly missed on our screens every week. But it's also great to look back at the trail she blazed and the doors she opened for all of the wacky, over-the-top, but still totally chill characters that have followed in her footsteps. I also feel like the word broad is like this full woman where She's like, knows their, their stuff, knows who they are, knows what they want or, and their limits, and is like doing the best they can. She might not exactly be a role model, but she always had a good heart, and that counts for a lot. That's The Take. Click here to watch a video we think you'll love, or here to check out a whole playlist of awesome content. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And make sure to subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive new videos. If you want to add some more chill moments to your life, you need to try today's sponsor, Cycling Frog. They offer an assortment of hemp-derived cannabinoid products, from seltzer to gummies to cookie and brownie making kits. We've been loving the wild cherry seltzer and huckleberry gummies in particular, and they have so many other awesome flavors to choose from, too. When life and work gets hectic, it can be hard to find ways to really relax, and Cycling Frog's products really help us unwind. The seltzers come in a variety of THC levels, 2 milligrams, 5 milligrams, and 50 milligrams, depending on what kind of vibe you're going for. So if you want to add some more chill moments to your day and support the take, check out Cycling Frog today. Plus, they've provided a special code just for our audience so that you can get a whole 20% off your entire order. So definitely head over to cyclingfrog.com, grab your goodies, and make sure to use the code THETAKE20 at checkout to get your discount. That's code THETAKE20.